wanna... Platforming is by far the worst thing in Ghosts and Goblins. And this is really the perfect example of how to find the fishy physics. Yes, I say fish. I don't say the S word. <laughs> but yeah, um... This area is completely filled with nothing but these white bald platforms, plus a bridge. I don't like this stage one bit. <laughs> also, you'll find that there's a very Dick Cheney-ish placement of Firebrand, where... You, you, like, you think you'll be able to avoid him, like... Right here. If you jump right next to him here, you have, like, a 1 in a... You have, like, a 1 in the 50th chance of surviving that. Luckily, I did. But still, I hate this! Quoting James Wolf, it's horrendous! And ghosts coming out of the fire. Why are there ghosts coming out of the fire? Are we in hell? Is this hell? I actually never could figure out what this cave is, but it looks like hell. Oh yeah, don't ever get any of the flashing red and white um, statue items, because you'll be put on a curse. This one turns you into a frog, but there are some curses later on in the series that turn you into, like, an old man, so, like, you can't, like... Like, you'll still be able to attack, but you'll be moving, like, very slow. Um, there is also one rare curse that I've never seen before. I still... I still am trying to find it as of today. I actually, sadly, cannot show you that kind of footage, though, because I don't own it. I haven't found that footage, sorry. I haven't been able to get a hold of that one particular thing I'm talking about. <clears throat> but nevertheless, we're in probably the most annoying part of the game. If not the most annoying platforming section. If you if you jump just just right, just right, you'll actually fall down to the bottom. Down to where this area is. Well, actually, no. See that little... Yeah. Up there, the start of the rocky area. The yellow rocks. Also, these are zombies. Or skeletons or something. Make sure that you do attack them before they jump on you abruptly. Also, that item that you see there on the wall is the shield item. The shield item allows you to not only reflect attacks, but gives you the highest attack power. The only downside with it is that you need it to be, um, stage 7. But then again, um, oh yeah, there's the axe as well. The axe isn't really useful. It has good attack power, however, its attack range is really annoying. One thing I did hate about the, um, the shield weapon is that if you use the shield weapon, you act- I mean, you have to have it for stage 7. You can't change a weapon. If you change a weapon, you come back to stage 4. Why is that? I don't know. It's just something that was in the arcade version and was brought back into this. I don't like the concept of having to have a specific item in my game to get to the next stage. I mean, it's sort of like how the Indiana Jones 3 video game for the NES was, and we all know what James Wolfe had to say about it. It is pretty annoying when you have to find a specific item, get to the end of the stage in time, and still make it... <sighs> I don't even know where I'm going with this tangent. But, uh, how many, how many people have already noticed I haven't taken any damage? Anybody? Raise your hands. Comment. <laughs> but, that uh, duck it. Nevertheless, here is, um, the big firebrand, or probably Satan. Because, uh, the final boss is not Satan, apparently. Looks like Satan, but no. I'll just call him the Wings... I'll just call him Mega Firebrand. Because he looks like a Mega Firebrand, anyways. Basically, what he does is he fires a fireball, and, uh... That's, that's pretty much it. He fires a fireball, swoops to the other side, makes sure you duck whenever you can, and, uh, yeah, the boss is over. Very ducking quick stage. <laughs> My commentary really isn't happy today. I don't know why. 
But nevertheless, we're in a we're about to go to a boss fest, so um, enjoy the music after I kill five zombies and a ghost. <laughs> Finished the first part of Ghosts and Goblins, so... Oh. Uh, yeah, you do need the shield um, weapon, I had mentioned this. I fucking hate this! Do I really have to get the shield weapon just to get to stage 7? <sighs> I'm not even... I actually stopped the recording here only because... I don't want to show you more than I have to of Ghosts and Goblins. I hate this game. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I hate Ghosts and Goblins. I make it look easy, but I hate this game. <laughs> and if it's not for the and if it's not for the heavy platform and not for the heavy physics, not because of the ducking enemy placement, not because of the good music. It's just because it's worser than its arcade counterpart. <laughs> If you've ever gotten the, if you ever played this game on arcade, you'll you'll know how easier it is to play. It's it's just as no, it's, it's just as enough of a challenge, but it's actually good. <sighs> Nevertheless, I shall see you for the very short part two. See you then.